my friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I cannot wipe the smile off my face because guess what day it is? It's James Rocket Day. I'm so excited that I can't stop stuttering. I was just over in the tree line and I was checking on the mock orange and the astilbes that I planted and I saw it. I saw it. All I had was my cell phone with me so I got this footage. And then something spooked me in the woods. <laughs> I just found the first Dame's Rocket of the year. This is on my phone, so I apologize. This is my tree line. Oh my God. There it is. I'm gonna cry. It's a woodchuck. Oh, woodchuck. I thought I heard something rather large in there. Where'd he go? He's huge. He's huge. Is it gonna attack me? He thinks he's camouflaged. I can see you. I'm stuck on a pricker. I'm stuck on a pricker. Oh God, oh God, where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, oh God. Okay, he just went into the field. Man. I was stuck on a pricker and I missed the woodchuck. Girls, you were no help. Yeah, so I was walking through raspberry canes and grapevines and I was getting all tangled up in the tree line. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Dame's Rocket's here. I am so excited. I like get, literally the, get teary about it because it's my favorite flower. I wait for it every year and I know I say my favorite flower is the one blooming before me. This one though, has such a special meaning for me that it just goes way back. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys the Dame's Rocket and how many different colors it comes in. And I mean, it's not even like in the bloom right now. It's very, very, very early stages. Just a couple are opening up. But also, I wanted to show you guys some other stuff that I've been foraging from around my property because it's pretty amazing. I just wish I had vocal flowers to go with it. Come on, Ranunculus. You keep your mouth shut. You. You. Are you guys going to start a choral group? Are you going to start a chorus? What are you going to sing? <laughs> so this one is an extremely soft lavender. They come in shades from the brightest purple to white and it's absolutely amazing. In fact, I see a bright purple one right up ahead. It is not translating on camera, but that is very bright purple. Let me see if I can adjust the camera so that you can see the true color. Okay, that is more accurate depiction of the beauteous color that we have here on this dark, dark. I mean, it's not like the darkest thing in the world, but anyway, I absolutely adore that. I'm so excited. I actually bought more seed and you're supposed to actually start them in the winter, like in the fall and uh, let them overwinter. So very excited about that. Okay, so it's called Dame's Rocket. Lots of people confuse it with wild phlox, but Dame's Rocket only has four petals. Phlox has five. There is a difference between the flowers. Also, there are many different colors and some people, including Florette, sells it as Sweet Rocket. She sells the packets of these and this is not, um, I did not plant this here. This has been here since I was a kid. Actually, these were the flowers that my mother picked for their wedding when they got married back in June, way back a thousand years ago. So I've also been foraging a ton on the property, especially the last week or so as things are coming into bloom. And one of my favorite things, and I did a vase test and I'm very excited, is honeysuckle. Now a lot of people grow honeysuckle as a vine. Mine is a different form, it's actually a shrub and it can be considered invasive. So this is an example of the honeysuckle. I have probably 45 or 50 of them on the property and they come in a variety of colors. So I just had a mom who just messaged me who asked me for a last minute bouquet. She's on her way to a dance recital. So I took what I had left and I just ran and I cut some of the pink honeysuckle. Look at what this does for a bouquet. Now these are some of my Angelique tulips. 
Now these angelique tulips are a little bit more open than I would have liked to have sold, but this is a last minute bouquet. These pink honeysuckles just absolutely bring it to life. And I'm told that they have a crazy good vase life. I've tested them and I've had them so far five days in the vase and they are phenomenal. So this is gonna go for a little girl and her dance recital. I'm so excited and I hope she loves it as much as I do. Okay, I'm gonna go wrap this up because the mom's coming right now. Okay, so I just wrapped this bouquet up quickly. The mom's actually pulling in the driveway right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and out to her. Wow, I look creepy when I do that right now. So it's a little bit later in the day that customer came, grabbed that bouquet, and uh, then I had to make dinner and stuff. So it's a little bit later on, and I wanna go back to the honeysuckle because they're just absolutely abundant right here right now. I wish I had other flowers to go with them. They just look so, so good. So if you see behind me, there, that's an example of several of them. I have white ones, yellow ones, pink ones, and then they all have a different color berry too, and you can use them in multiple stages. You, you can use them now in their flowering form, and they have a honeysuckle, very sweet smell. And you can also use them in berry form. Sunflower Steve was telling me he used to sell them in the fall when they had the berries in his um, at his farmer's market when he used to do farmer's markets. Let's take a closer look, shall we? It's just magnificent. And I have been cutting stem lengths that are about 18 inches, so I would cut it right here. And then, am I on camera? I can't tell. Oh, a little bit, okay. So, oh, sorry. It's hard for me to film and do this at the same time. Thumbnail. So then I would strip whatever is at the bottom. If you want, you can cut up the stem a little bit to give it a, like it's a woody stem. So it's like a tree, it's a branch. So if you give it a little bit more of exposure on the bottom, that helps it to drink up water. And Sunflower Steve told me, use sunflower, or use sunflower food, <laughs> use flower food. It definitely helps in extending the vase life of these. It's perfect. So this one here is white with a little bit of a yellow. The ones over there are pink. So I actually have a whole bunch of different colors here. This is only about 20 feet from the other one. This one is like a pink yellow, and then this one is white as well, just the same as this one. So it's like abundant. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I wouldn't even mind taking family pictures down here. So I have, like I said, at least 40 to 50 of these shrubs around. We actually took a few out to make room for our new flower fields. So they're just so abundant and and they're actually considered kind of invasive around here, but they're a great source for birds in the wintertime. They will eat the berries, they love them. So not only are they a great source for wildlife, but they're also great for bouquets. They're all over, you can see them. They, they just keep going. <laughs> Down the line. So I thought this was pretty interesting. There are several different types of this shrub bush honeysuckle. And some are native and some are not native. And the easiest way to tell which is which is by cutting the stems. And the ones that are hollow are not native to your area. If they're not hollow, then they are native. So I'm thinking maybe these are some sort of a Japanese honeysuckle. They're non-native, uh, but you know, <laughs> they're pretty. So this is another patch of something that grows wild here. And I've just discovered that it's actually a great cut flower. So these are called Golden Alexander. And I get down on the ground and sit with them, but I'm afraid of ticks right now because every time I go in the house, I've got a tick on me. So these are something that Sunflower Steve has, it was like his first thing to get in the door with one of his customers because nobody had ever heard about it before using it in bouquets. They kind of look like a Queen Anne's lace, like a yarrow, very much a yellow burst of fireworks. It's awesome. So I have quite the large patch of it. Those pink flags that you see there, that's where I had planted um, pussy willows. The blue flags in the back are winter berries. So this is something that I'm trying to establish down here as just being able to cut on. And I gotta be honest with you guys, it's, the patch is even bigger than I'm showing you. It goes, it goes all over the place. And now this is actually beneficial because it also is a host plant 
to the black swallowtail and the Ozark swallowtail caterpillars. They will feed on the leaves. They bloom for quite a long time. We have never noticed them here because this area was never mowed before. So my husband started brush hogging this area to keep the hay down, really just the weeds down so that we could, you know, ride four wheelers and do all that stuff back here and now plant back here. So it was never, you know, visible until we started mowing everything else down. Now it's kind of taking a spotlight and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's actually also known as a Zizia, Z-I-Z-I-A, -I -I and it's also a member of the carrot family. Ooh, I hear thunder, guys. <gasps> I hear thunder. Let me look. The sky's getting dark. I hear thunder. We are in desperate need of water here. It's absolutely crazy. I've been watering things day and night. I don't have drip irrigation. I'm not using a sprinkler system because I can't gauge the amount of water that's using. So I've been using five gallon buckets and watering cans and I know it's not ideal, but that's what I'm working with. And it's actually like, I don't know. I feel good. Like I feel like I'm, I'm keeping busy and I'm doing hard physical work and I, and I do enjoy that very much so. I'm really hoping that it's gonna rain though because <laughs> maybe I don't wanna do that tonight. I just got a cup of coffee. You can see that's the deer fence up there from where I am down here and that's the house up there. So yeah, we're quite a ways. I'm really hoping it's gonna rain. It's getting dark. Anyway, Golden Alexander, Sunflower Steve, also said that it has a really great vase life. And he said to harvest them when the, bo the buds are not fully open, but not closed as well, because uh, that gives it the, be the best vase life. It's really gorgeous. If I had ranunculus blooming right now, oh, it's a lightning bug. Hi. If I had ranunculus blooming right now, I could use the honeysuckle and I could use this golden alexander and especially with the bright yellows and reds and oranges of some of the ranunculus i have the pastels but i also have the bright colors i can just whoo, and then i could use the pink honeysuckles with the pastel ranunculus oh come on these ranunculus are killing me year three this is supposed to be the the good luck year this is supposed to be the charm i feel like i'm getting bit all right i'm gonna go get my coffee wait what else was that oh one more thing to show you yeah 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 it's closer up to the house anyway, so I'll get my coffee and we'll talk about it. Okay, it's getting darker. Let me brighten this up. Wrong way. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is another seed packet that Florette sells and um, she calls it, I think, Blushing Lanterns. It's actually, I think, called like Campion Bladder. <laughs> I guess Blushing Lanterns is a nicer name, but it's a, a Celine and it grows wild here all over this property and it's considered like a weed for most people, but I put it in bouquets and it's stunning and I used it all last year and people are like, oh, I never thought to use that. Well, you should use it. So it's actually not in full bloom yet, but it's getting there. I'm going to pull some. So here's what it looks like right now. It's got all of these little bladders, if you will, <laughs> hanging out, ready to burst out. But when it opens up, it has this beautiful little lantern. I mean, I can see why it's called a blushing lantern too. Just absolutely beautiful. Hi puppy, I didn't know you could reach over here. Hi. Okay, so I'll find a picture of, of the Celine. Ow, I'm getting bit. Oof, it's getting, it's getting like, I'm hoping. Thunder. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I brightened it up too, let me darken it. We'll throw away. That's that's actually like the true light right now because it's evening time. Wonder if we could see lightning. Oh, the you can see the honeysuckles behind me too. Isn't that like I was just telling Gina, like that's like you can do wedding pictures there. It's absolutely phenomenal. I love it so much. Maybe I should advertise honeysuckle family portraits this week. Maybe. Maybe not. It's kind of dangerous. Look at that. There's a bad moon on the rise. So anyway, these bloom and they continue to bloom for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and they are, like I said, there are weeds around here. So I'll definitely incorporate them. There's something on my leg. I'll definitely incorporate them in uh, bouquets as soon as I have other flowers to put them with. I mean, I guess I could just do like a honeysuckle bouquet. Where's my coffee? All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon.
Oh, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Okay, <laughs> rainbow. I will find the rainbow. You see a rainbow? No. Do you see one over there? Axel, do you see one? Yeah? And there it is. <laughs> oh my god, I'm squinting. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, flower friends. It's Nicole from Polyro. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. I think I found that woodchuck's home. What shall we do? How many flowers can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would eat flowers? He does. That's the problem. He does. Oh, okay. Beep, beep, hello. Oh. Fern's still out and she's not happy. She's afraid of the thunder, I think. She's whining. She's scared. It's okay, baby. She did not like it. Can you let her in, please? Thanks, babe. She doesn't know what it is. Washing lantern. Oh, broke it. <laughs>